Hey guys, this is Brandon with FTPTraining.com and this is another quick tip. I've been editing today. I had a client give me a project that they've already had another editor uh, work on. What they wanted me to do is to go back on it and add subtitles to it. Now the reason I'm doing this video is just to show you how I've done it but also a problem that I ran into and what I did to overcome it. And so let's uh, dive into it. So what the client did is they provided me a transcript and here it is. We've got English on the left and on the right hand side we've got the Japanese translation. And so what I'm going to do here is I've already got the line that we want to use for this example. I'm just going to hit Command C to copy it. I'm going to hit Command Tab to go back to Final Cut. Alright, so right here is the clip that we actually are going to add this okay, subtitle to. The elevator to the eighth floor. So I'm just going to go ahead and disable this clip just to show you how I'm going to add a title and what I ran into. And hopefully, if you guys ever run into this exact same thing, what you can do to overcome it. So if I come over here to basic text, I'm just going to click and drag this over here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit option right bracket to cut where the playhead is. I'm then going to come over to the top of this clip here. So notice that we've got title right here and then as I hover over it we get this little bounding box. If I double click this box I can start typing in the title that I want this to be. But because we're copying and pasting from this Excel document, if I was to go ahead and hit paste right here since this is selected and I hit command V, Notice how small that is, right? It's basically taking the font size from the document and it's pasting it into there. Now I can come over to here and I can adjust the size and do all that stuff. But I'm going to show you a different way of doing it. That way you don't have to spend a bunch of time readjusting all the settings inside the text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo that, Command Z. And with the inspector open, and if we go up to the text, notice this little text box right here. If I actually click inside here and I hit paste, the nice thing is, is it keeps any of the parameters that I already have set and it applies it to that. So here's an example. Like, let's say we want to take this clip, okay? We're going to drag it down here. But let's say I wanted it to be bigger. I could go ahead and make the font bigger. And then let's just say I was to copy this clip and paste it. Okay. So now if I come here and let's uh, go ahead and hit command tab, we're going to go back to the Excel document and we're going to get grab the next line, command C. And then we'll come here. We're going to come up to this text box here and then paste. So the nice thing is, is as soon as you guys select your basic title and as soon as you get all your settings and presets and line everything up the way that you want, you can then copy and paste it, right, continuously throughout your clip, and it'll keep all your same parameters for the text. So that's been my quick tip. I ran into that earlier today, and it was a little bit of frustration, but I'm glad that I knew what to do so I didn't have to sit there and make all the adjustments every time I kept copying and pasting in from another Word document. Comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I hope that's been helpful. If you ever run into using a Word document or any other document of copying and pasting stuff into Final Cut, Hopefully that's been super helpful. Again, my name is Brandon with FTPTraining.com. Until next time. Go to FTPTraining.com for other tutorials, templates, and Final Cut Pro tools.